small business owners might not think that they're a target, but what we're finding is that many hackers are targeting smaller businesses to get to larger businesses. The Shenandoah Valley Technology Council recently held a forum on being cyber aware in order to cut down on the risk of being hacked. The group meets weekly at Woodfire Grill in Harrisonburg to discuss various issues. Dan O'Brien is the cybersecurity instructor and Go Virginia program manager for cybersecurity at Blue Ridge Community College. O'Brien was the guest speaker this week. Time and time again, we see this happening where a vendor for a larger company gets hacked and the hackers wait until the right moment and then they hack the larger company. And of course, if you're a vendor that gets hacked, no one wants to keep you as their vendor. So it's important to be uh, cyber aware. O'Brien says while his talk at the meeting focused on small to medium sized businesses, in actuality, the size of the company is irrelevant when it comes to cyber security. It can be anywhere from a, a, a mom and pop shop or a husband and wife uh, to, you know, 25, 30 employees would be considered a small business. Medium sized business as well, unfortunately, don't have the same resources as a large organization to keep up with their cyber uh, security uh, maturity. He says business owners can do simple tasks to ensure cyber safety. Things, for example, like upgrading windows, uh, that needs to be done this month to Windows 10, to having proper firewalls to protect you from hackers. And as we said during the talk today, almost everyone has a firewall at home if they have an internet connection, and those need to be kept up to date. O'Brien pointed out it is not unusual to hear that a large corporation such as NASA or major airports across the country have fallen victim to hackers. There are a variety of ways uh, in which large corporations are hacked. Uh, one of the things we talked about today is user training. In other words, you can have a great deal of cybersecurity investment, but if you get that one employee that clicks on that one email that leads to a hacking website, well suddenly your entire organization is hacked. He warns you should be mindful of the people you choose to hire. Uh, there are also times where the, the uh, hackers can target the company's computer network. And as we were just talking about firewalls, that's important to keep that from happening. And oftentimes there's also what's called insider threat, where you have a group of people operating within an organization to say steal data. That's, that's another common uh, thing. It's important to have a background check, for example, of someone before you allow them access to your sensitive information. In Harrisonburg, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.